where many uh, short films suffer from uh, one thing, which is a lack of story development. So this is the thing that uh, short filmmakers need to pay attention to. That before you go into the script writing, you better uh, go deep into your story so that you yourself understand your story. And I think uh, in the streets of London. <coughs> has uh, gone past that stage and uh, so you can see that the story is very tight and I'm not surprised that it has been winning uh, awards for story as well as uh, a screenplay and once that stage has gone the directing is very easy so I think every everything works for this film and uh, the director has done his job uh, and it's because the script was really, really good, and uh, it fits the criteria of a short film uh, in the sense that there appears to be no resolution or no closure. And uh, if you want to know that, is you have to remember all the things that happened from the beginning until the end, and you will know uh, what the protagonist, uh, the the guy who speaks the, in English all the time, and. Uh, uh, he realizes. So at the end, when he runs to hear the poetry reading session, uh, in a sense, is saying that uh, he understands what everything was all about in the beginning of the film. Uh, in terms of directing, the choice of locations and so on, uh, uh, it shows London, but then when we are in the flat, it's not necessarily London anymore. It could be anywhere in the world, and here is what we, uh, the entertainment journalists say, always say, may I say it in a film, which is wherever you are, you may take the uh, Malay out of the kampong, but you cannot take the kampong out of the Malay, because this part of uh, being whatever you are, a Malay or Indian or Chinese, and if that is lost, then you are totally lost.